It's been so long since we planted it, the idea of actually harvesting our garlic must seem like fantasy by now. But truly, the time is upon us. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we turn fantasy into reality. And today's episode is all about that garlic. More specifically, knowing exactly when it's finally ready to pull up and harvest. Hey, time short as it always is, so let's dive in. For those of you new to the garlic growing game, here's a little life cycle recap so that the rest of the video makes sense. In northern parts of the world, those areas with the real winter, hard neck garlic is planted in the fall about four to six weeks before that first frost. Overwintered in its shallow resting spot, it's cared for all the following spring and then finally harvested early to midsummer. Easy stuff, but that's a pretty broad range. How do we know the exact time when garlic is truly ready to harvest? Calendar dates are nothing but a useful guidance. So we turn to the plants themselves to tell us when they're ready. And the most reliable signal that we get that tells us it's finally time to harvest our garlic comes from the foliage. You see, garlic bulbs, like onions, are simply layers and layers of modified leaves. And it's the dead and dying ones that not only protect and store the bulbs, but also indicate when they're ready to harvest. So, the hard and fast rule, and this works for most hard neck varieties, is when half the leaves on your garlic plant are brown and crispy, well, it's time to pull up the bulbs. This timing is very important, and we've covered it in other videos. Too early, and your garlic won't have developed the protective wrappers necessary for long-term storage. But too late, and those cloves will bust through, and that protective wrapper will be rendered useless. As you can see, timing is key. But zoom out a little bit, and you'll see that that window is pretty forgiving. What isn't forgiving, though, would be missing the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, make sure to subscribe and click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.